Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hey, guys. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody Hi, doing? Hi. Hello. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Was it okay? Good, good, todo bien. Very good. Okay, cool. That's very nice to hear. Espero que hayan tenido un super buen fin de semana. Eh, por ahí vi que algunos andaban en la playa, you know, like chilling and everything. Así que realmente espero que la hayan pasado super bien, que hayan descansado. And uh, well, we get started with uh, la, nuestra segunda semana as well. Y Dalia, ¿cómo le fue con la surgery? <risa> eh, bien, yo pienso, pero es difícil porque ah. estos loritos tienen mucha fuerza en su en el piquito y rompen todo lo que se les ponga para que no se dañen los implantes. Entonces se los quitan, ¿verdad? pero les pusimos botellas y pues ahí lo mantuvimos, pero bien, bien interesante. Okay. Okay, so, <risa> bueno, me imagino entonces que, que sobrevivió, right? <risa> sí, sí. <risa> Okay, okay. Viva. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Jesus, ¿cómo estuvo su fin de? How was your weekend? Bien, ahí por ratos trabajando y por ratos descansando. Ah, Así okay. que bien, gracias. No, me alegra mucho que ya está en su casa. Sí, you know that you are not like in the, in the motorcycle or anything, porque también puede ser <laughs> a little bit like dangerous. So I'm happy you're there. Um, so... Sandra, Elizabeth, hey Elizabeth, me alegra mucho verla por acá. Happy to hear you, to see you, you know, to hear you. Really nice to see you here. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Everything good? ¿Todo bien? Good. Todo bien. Okay, nice, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Super, super glad to hear that. So, guys, eh, gracias al, al resto también. Thank you so much. Ya veo que la mayoría están acá. So, thank you for that. Vamos a, a iniciar web nuestra semana número dos. All right. So, es como el tiempo se va volando, así que están, es como ya nuestro belly bottom, el corazoncito de nuestro módulo y se va a pasar súper, súper rápido. So, eh, in the meantime, mientras el resto se nos une también, let me go over attendance. Les voy a um, pasar asistencia here quick. Me ayudan, please, con sus camaritas. Help me, eh, you know, having your cameras ready para que los podamos ver y nos quede constancia that you were right there, you know, just to avoid any situation. So, eh, Jocelyn está por acá. No he visto a Jocelyn today. Present teacher. Hey, Jocelyn. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. The second person is eh, Norberto. Norbert está por acá. Norbert? Probably not. Eh, Sandra Rodas. Sandra? Maybe not. Hey, Miss. Hello. Nice to hear you. Thank you so much for getting your camera ready as well. Eh, Marvin, ¿está por acá? Marvin? Mm, I don't see him. Okay. Eh, I have Brian. Maybe not. René? Creo que por ahí René. Thank you, René. Nice to have you. Hello, hello. I got Daisy. Creo que había Daisy por ahí. Some Present. Ago. Hello, Daisy. Nice to see you. Hello, you always you. look very comfortable. Super <laughs> nice. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Danny. Danny is por acá. No he visto Danny. I haven't seen Danny. Like two days. Uh, Danny's. Present. Thank you, Danny's. Giovanni. Maybe not. Uh, Jesus, yes, Jesus was super early today. Uh, Jerixa. Present. Thank you so much, Jerixa. Nice to have you. I got Ingrid. También la vi super temprano. Ingrid, hello. Nice hello, to teacher. see you, miss. Thank you so much. 
Eh, Moses, Moses también estaba like very early. Present. Thank you so much. Miriam. Hello, Miss. I am present. Hello, Claribel. I'm Thank here. you so much. All right. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Oh, yeah, Larry. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Anna Delmi. Present teacher. Thank you, Anna. Nice to see you. A Brenda no la veo todavía. Idalia, I saw her. Idalia's right there. And Sandra Flores. Gracias, Miss. Eh, hi, Giovanni. Thank you so much for joining. So, gracias por unirse. See you now. Okay. Let me see. ¿Qué más me falta? Marvin, Brian, y Norberto. So, Norberto, no, they are not yet here. Okay. Okay, guys. So, uh, thank you. Gracias por, por su asistencia. Gracias por la. Like, Um, unírsenos un día más, you know, to our module, ok. Eh, vamos a iniciar ahora con nuestra, like, semana número dos. And this involves kind of eh, nuevos temas, digamos, like something eh, a little bit, you know, tal vez no new, pero sí algo que no hemos revisado up to this point, que son un poquito de, de frequencies. So this is our agenda for the day. Vamos a, a revisar un poquito de vocabulary about frequency words. Luego tenemos some conversations. And then, of course, como siempre lo hacemos, tenemos como una speaking practice. Uh, to start today, para comenzar, vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulario gramática in everything we have checked. So for this, vamos a hacer dos grupos. We are going to make two groups. Pero déjenme ver. Eh, ¿Cuántos chicos y cuántas chicas tengo? So, porque somos más chicas, so I'm not quite sure. I got Jesus, René, Danis, Moses. Hey, Norberto, you're back. Ok, ok. And Giovanni, so that would be six. Um, ok, boys, ¿les, ¿les molesta estar en desventaja numérica o or, or is that ok with you? Is that a problem for you? No, oh. you're good. You're okay. No. Okay. So, girls, vamos a hacer esto un poquito de, de juego de género, okay? It's going to be boys, niños contra niñas. So, boys against girls. No es difícil. It's not going to be, like, complicated or anything. Les explico más o menos de qué se trata. Todos hemos jugado en algún momento X0, right? Everybody has oh, played tic tac toe. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, this is a tic tac toe. Es el mismo que ser. Exactly the same. All right. Um, so normally in tic-tac-toe, usted pone como la X, el 0, X0, etc. Y termina o gana el que termina los tres primeros en línea. Right. So horizontally, vertically, etc. Eso es lo mismo. This is the same. Pero la única diferencia is the following. Para que usted pueda tomar, por ejemplo, el primer espacio de first space, tiene que en un minuto completar el ejercicio como grupo, as a group, ¿ok? So here it says 20 occupations. Como grupo se tiene que poner de acuerdo, y no solo los niños o las niñas, etc. Mm -hmm. Y tienen que decirme como 20 occupations. In the meantime, eh, si el tiempo termina y no lo hicieron, no se ganan el espacio, ¿ok? Si lo hicieron, of course, you go and get the space. Y es lo mismo con las chicas. We will do the same. El ganador, obviously, es el que complete tres acá, Tres here, o las tres, así como en diagonal, right? And it's the same. Es lo mismo tic-tac-toe, ¿ok? Es un poquito de estrategia, but tienen que ponerse, pueden usar el chat, you can use the chat, you can use WhatsApp, whatever you want, para ponerse de acuerdo de cuál es el siguiente que van a, a, a tomar, right? So, instead of this, ¿ok? We are going to practice tic-tac-toe a little bit, ¿ok? Let's play. Eh, boys, eh, Ustedes están un poquito en desventaja, en numérica, of course. Así que voy a comenzar con ustedes. I'm going to get started with you. So, necesito que se pongan de acuerdo, you know, super, super quick. Cinco segundos máximo. And uh, que escojan uno de estos espacios. Preguntas, chicos. Is that, is that clear? 
Es lo mismo de Tic Tac Toe, solo que se tiene que ganar el espacio. Ya, yeah, that's it. Ok. Um, so, boys, pónganse de acuerdo. Get in agreement super quick. Y escojan uno de los, uh, uno de los espacios that you have there in the, in the, in the grid. Boys, ready? Tienen cinco segundos. You have five seconds. Para decidir. Otherwise, voy a ir, like, you know, with anybody. So, one, two, three, four, five. Guys, time's over. Time is, like, running super, super quick. Chicos, ¿con cuál empezamos? Which is yours? Occupation. Occupation. Okay. So, significa que si todos, si ustedes son cinco, entre los cinco se deben de ayudar. Right? This is a team game. Girls, cuando su momento llegue, ustedes se pueden poner y empe eh, empezar a pensar, pónganse de acuerdo, así de una sola vez deciden. Tienen un minuto. You have one minute to complete it, okay? And the time begins now. 20 occupations, go, go, go. Barber. One. Actor. Two. Police. Uh, Police. Lawyer. Four. Teacher. Fireman. Five, six. Accountant. Seven. Dentist. Dallas person. Eight. Nine. Cashier. Ten. Driver. Eleven. Business. Engineer. Engineer. Twelve. Thirteen. Farmer. Fourteen. Singer. What? Singer. Okay, fifteen. Continue, continue. Actor. Six, sixteen. Dex dentist. Seventeen. 18, Actress. 19, 20. Actress. Yes, very good. Very yeah. good. Very good. That's okay. So, what do you want? X or zero? Um, X. Okay, the X or the noun. So, I'm going to make this X a little bit bigger. Okay, and there we go. Girl, significa que su, su oportunidad now, this is your chance. So, espero que hayan aprovechado el tiempo poniéndose de acuerdo, you know, and get ready for this. So, girls, vamos con ustedes. Tienen un minuto. You got a minute. So, ¿cuál escogieron? Which ones did you select? Girls. Colors. 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 Hay una de colors. Oh, yes, yes. 20 colors. 20 colors. Denme un segundo. Me voy a cambiar el audífono. Okay, much better. I cannot concentrate. Okay, so uh, colors you said. Okay, that, that was quite easy, but it's okay. Tienen un minuto to tell me three colors. Okay, so one, two, three, go. Black. Blue, black, black, white, pink, white, pink, white, 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 yellow. Okay, okay, white. let's do it in order, let's do it in order. Black, pink, yellow. Sorry, Boys, please, pongale atención que no repiten, don't repeat, please, go. White, miss, white. I know. I am Blue, brown, brown, blue, brown, brown. Pink. Pink. Like green, like blue, miss. Like green, like blue, yes. Gray. 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 Red. Gold. Red. Gold. Silver. Purple. 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 Two more. Silver. Silver. Violet. 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 Orange. Orange, yes, okay, very good. Pink, pink, time is over. Time pink, I blue. Okay, guys, time is over. Time pink, is over. miss. Help me, please, with your microphones, guys. Ahora es el turno de los chicos. Now it is like boys' time. Okay, let me make this bigger. Help me with the microphones just a little while. And boys, it is your turn. So, eh, ya decidieron, did you select? Las chicas ya estaban super listas. Boys, espero que hayamos hecho lo mismo, right? Boys, yes. ¿con cuál van? Vegetable and fruit. Vegetables Very and fruit. fruit. Very good. Yes. You got a minute. So, uh, girls, please, que no repiten. Uh, so, help me that they don't repeat, okay? One, two, three. Go, boys, go. Apple. Yes. 
Banana. Two. Watermelon. Three. Pineapple. Four. Yes. Lemon. Five. Peach. Seven. Coconut. Coconut. Papaya. Yeah, papaya. Potato. Beer. Potato. Third. Strawberry. Yes. Eleven. Onion. Twelve. Berries. Avocado. Avocado. Thirteen. Right. Grapes. Fourteen. Berries. Berries. Okay, fifty-five. Ya lo dijeron. Potato. Another. Uh, almond. Almond. Okay. Almond. Cuatro. Chicos, diez segundos. Go, go, go. Broccoli. Broccoli. Here. Ya dijeron clear. Time's over. Coconut. Time's time over. Time's over. Sorry, guys. Time was over and we didn't complete it. We didn't make it. Okay, sorry about that. Girls, potato. No, it's your turn. Teacher, pot uno. Which one? Potato. Potatoes is an is an vegetal or, or fruit. I yes. think it's a, um, how do you call it? It, it belongs to, in a different category. So, son los tubérculos, right? So, everything that comes <laughs> from tubérculos. Earth. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I cannot remember. ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah, I cannot remember. That's what I'm trying to remember. Okay, guys. But, but anyways, we didn't make it. We didn't complete it. So, either way, let's go with yeah. the next. Girls, it's your turn. Selección. And which is next? Yes, no questions. Perfect. Good. Yes, no questions. So we go with this one. Give me one second. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, son 10 solamente. It's 10. Please pónganse de acuerdo. Like, ¿quién va en orden, etc. So, one, two, three, go. Do you drink coffee? One. Me see you Two. Do you speak English? Three. Do you like you eat pizza? Or yeah. Do you play soccer? Okay, do you play soccer? Five. Okay. Are you married? Six. Do you get up early? Seven. Do you listen to music? Eight. Do you like soda? Nine. Do you study Do you English? In El Salvador? I study English. Very good. Yes, we got it. Excellent. That was very nice. Girls, usted son zero, right? Zero. Okay, so you are a zero. You're a nut. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Uh, very well played. Creo que algunas no las escuché, but it was very nice. Uh, boys, your turn. So vamos, 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 chicos. Let's go. Let's do it. Boys? Boys, boys. Hello, boys. Los voy a mutear un segundito mientras el resto like is back. Hey, Brian. Hey there. So we are just reviewing vocabulary. Chicos, estamos listos. Boys, are we ready? Yes, W equation. W A, this one, 10 WH questions. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's do it. So one, two, three, go. Where? This is your favorite color. One. Where do you live? Two. What's your name? Three. Where are you from? Four. Which place do you like to visit? Five. Who is at the door? Six. What is your favorite food? What is your, yeah, seven? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Okay, uh, eight? Favorite, favorite song or music? My song, okay, nine? Who is he? Okay, <laughs> okay, that's all right, so that counts. So yeah, that, that's a WH, all right. You at X's, right guys? You at X. So yours is yes, yes. Miss, I have a question, Miss. Tell me. Eh, los chicos, 
solamente llevan dos X. Yes. Yes. Ah, ok. Compañeras, entonces tenemos que elegir 10 proposiciones, 10 proposiciones o place. Exacto, no, exacto. No, eso iba no, a decir no. yo. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Sí, okay, quería, so. quería asegurarme eso, Miss. Oh, yeah, estaba it, it's only two. No, lo que sucede es que una vez no lograron terminarla. So ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Sí, estaba confundida con eso. Ok. <laughs> Chicas, 10 proposiciones o place. Tenemos que ganar. Ok, ok, ok. So, para que no ganen de <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, women power. Okay, okay so okay. listas, prepositions, ready? Yes? I am ready, miss. Okay, one. Intenta que hacerlo en orden para que si no, you know, we count everyone. Guys, boys, ayúdenme, please. Escuchen una repetida, ustedes me ayudan. So, one, two, three, go. On. On. In. 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 Next to. Next to. Under. Under. Behind. 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 Between, between, next to, next to, next to, next to, next to, next to, in, inside, inside, una más chica, on the corner, on the corner, up. Up. yeah, up. Up. it's good, it's good, it's good, yes, we are good, yes, up the counts, definitely, so you are zero, Oh, oh my, oh my God. Okay, boys, boys, boys. Ya casi terminamos. We are about to finish. Boys. Ready? Tendría que ser why question why why do this? I don't know. Sí. I don't know. Sí. Okay, so tell me, tell me. Ready? Oh. Are you ready? Boys, ¿están listos? ¿Ya se pusieron de acuerdo en everything? No, yes. no, no. Yes. Ok, ok. Yo estaría okay. usando do y das. Eh, Solo dos. Solo das. Solo terceras personas. Mm. So, deciden, tienen cinco segundos. One, two, yes. three, yes, four, five. This yes. is the question si no, with us. No. Okay, yes. vamos, son diez segundos. It's one minute, it's one minute. So, okay. one, two, three, go. Go, guys. Do, does she, doctor, a doctor? Mm, do you like, no. do you speak English? Does she What do you English? play? Does, does he like pizza? Two. Does he speak English? Yeah, three. Do you love me? <laughs> no, terceras personas. Third person, third person. Uh, <laughs> does your mom go to work? Does your mom go to work? Uh -huh. Four. Does... Where do you meet? Where? Does she sing opera? Does she sing opera? Yes, five. Does she like chocolate? Six. Does he... Do you read books? My, my boss does like pizza. Mm, but it's a question. It's a question. Jesus, can you repeat? Oh. Does, does he speak English? Okay, seven. Does Moses play football? Soccer? Okay, yeah, eight. Dos más, two more. 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Do they want to come with me? So they went, mm, no, it has to be Does that. she dance salsa? Does she dance salsa? Yes, one more, one more, 10 seconds. Does uh, René teach, uh, teach literature? Yeah, very good. Yes, I'm sorry. No, tiene tres segundos todavía. But yes, very good job. So you are the excess. You are the excess. Guys, I got a question. ¿Verdad que no va a haber ganador? We won't have a no. winner, right? No, no, no I don't think yeah, no. so. Like, no, here there is no possibility. There is no possibility here. A menos que las chicas pierdan ambas, I think. But it would be pretty hard. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. This is the only mm -hmm. chance. But I don't think we will have a winner. But it was very good either way because we reviewed some vocabulary. So that was quite good. To be honest with you, creo que no vamos a tener winner. Así que we can leave it that, that way. 
And I would say que tenemos empate. I would name it a draw, you know? So con empate, very well played, everybody. So emojis for you. No tengo emojis que me hacen. So emojis for you, that was very nice played. And, uh, and yeah, so, so hopefully next time we will get a winner, but it was pretty tight. Fue bastante difícil today. And, uh, yes, I'm sorry guys, escucha ruido, pero hay bastante viento and creo que son los mangos. <laughs> they are like falling down on the roof and everything. So um, today we are going to be working on this nice topic. Okay, that is frequency. Give me one second. Okay. So, but when we are talking about frequency, hablamos de que tan a menudo hacemos some activities, right? Uh, and here, if you pay attention, más o menos ustedes ya están familiarizados con algunas de esas palabras, for example, how often, okay? Always. So, so ya les vimos un poquito. So, please help me. What is the meaning of how often? Cuando utilizo how often? Como cada cuánto Para tiempo. Para preguntar qué están a menudo. Exactly. Con qué frecuencia. Exactly. So, yeah, lo uso para hablar de que, con qué frecuencia hago one activity. Yes, yes, excellent. And then I have some words here, for example, often, usually, always, to talk about this frequency, okay? So, um, can I please have some volunteers and uh, que me ayuden a leer the, the paragraph we have right here. Let me see. Tengo un par de días de no escuchar a Yarixa. So Yarixa, please, can you help me read the part of John? And uh, Jackie, please. Ayúdeme, Jackie, a leer la part of, the part of, the, the, the part of Anne, please. Thank you, sir. Eric, está por acá? Eric, are you around? A mí me habla. Sorry, ando buscando en la pizzería. <laughs> yes, please, please. I'm sorry. So, me ayuda a leer la parte de John, por So, only read it. Sí. Y ya que va a contestar con la parte de Anne, please. How, how often do you check your mail? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their day order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the first sign in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you, very good job, exactly. I like it, very nice intonation, very nice pronunciation. So talking about this, how often, que tan a menudo haces esto, we have some words que nos van a ayudar a hablar de frecuencia. So now let's get into this topic. Okay, we have frequency adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Ese es el nombre que se les da, okay? But don't pay attention, not too much attention to that, but pongamos un poquito de atención here, a este cuadrito, okay? This one solo me representa like que tan seguido yo hago una actividad. And this is the word that helps me with that. Okay, so for example, I got from the bottom, comencemos desde la parte de abajo, okay, from the bottom, never, all right, so never is zero percent, okay, I never get late to work, y pongamos la atención a la posición, I never, okay, I never get late to work, que es algo que nunca hacen, what is something you never do, guys, I never, I never drink a beer. I never drink a beer. Okay, that's okay. What about the rest? What is something you never do? I never... Mm 
no sé si se dirá así, Miss. I never do exercise uh, yes. in the morning. Yes, exactly. Así se dice. Very good. So I never do exercise in the morning. Exactly. Alguien más, guys, ¿qué es algo que nunca hacen? Giovanni, what is something que usted nunca hace? Giovanni. Maybe he is stood up. Okay. Anna, tell me, what about you? ¿Qué es algo que nunca hace? <coughs> I never drink coffee in in late. Okay, okay. So you never drink coffee in the afternoon, at night. Okay, very good. So we have I never. And then we come into the second part. Uh, Ingrid, tell me. I never fall uh, asleep uh, early. I never go to sleep early. Okay, that's a very good example as well. Here we have the other word that is hardly ever, okay? Hardly ever. This is 5%. So in Spanish, ¿qué significa este hardly ever? What do you understand by this? Rara vez. Rara uh, vez, okay, casi, casi nunca. nunca, exactly. Casi nunca. So hardly ever, rarely. He rarely has conferences. I rarely um, make or drink meals. Okay, so I rarely get up, go to bed early, for example. So raras veces, okay, raramente. Then we have seldom. If you pay attention, hardly ever, rarely, and seldom, todos significan como rara vez, all right? All of them son por rara vez. Pero acá hay un pequeño porcentaje que es diferente. So seldom es como un poquito más frecuente, pero en realidad es lo mismo. We seldom... Okay. Take calls at work, yeah? Nosotros rara vez, nosotros seldom. Sería lo mismo. It's exactly the same. So if you listen, oh, I rarely, I hardly ever, or I seldom, estamos hablando de lo mismo, right? Rara vez, raramente. Um, then we have 30% occasionally. Are you occasionally work over time? Guys, que era over time? What is this? Una extra. Exactly, mm -hmm. horas extra. So I occasionally work overtime, okay? Sometimes, si se fijan, sometimes está junto, no es sometimes, sino sometimes, okay? Sometimes. This is 50%. She sometimes uses the microwave. I sometimes get up early to do exercise. Nah, nah, that's rarely, okay? <laughs> so sometimes it's como... You know, hay bastante frecuencia. Vez. Es como varias veces, bien a menudo, right? Similar como a often. So I often have breakfast at work. I often have breakfast before classes. Okay. So el, el porcentaje va incrementando hasta que llegamos a normally, usually, yeah? And always, que es un siempre, yeah? So this is like the opposite. Always and never. So, siempre lo hago, nunca lo hago. Nunca. So, these words solo nos ayudan a tener como una idea de qué tan frecuente es. For example, si les pregunto, hey guys, how often do you play? No, how often do you do exercise? Ahora que alguien lo mencionó. How often do you do exercise? If you have to give me an answer, what would you say? How often do you do exercise? Rarely. Normally. Normally, okay, 80%, wow, okay. Always? Always, always. Dijo always. always yeah. Really, Ay, always. Nice, Giovanni, always. congratulations, very good, okay. How often do you play video games? I never play video games, I don't like them. Guys? Normal, normally. Okay, normally? Never. 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 Okay. And the rest? Sin pena, guys. Si se quedan toda la noche jugando, say it. It's okay. All right. So, I mean, because yo sé que algunos sí están mucho más jóvenes and you really like it. And it's okay. So, let's do something. Um, de estos, I want you to select 
Quiero que seleccionen cinco de estas palabras, las que no se recuerden, you know, o las que son nuevas, probably, ok. En, escribamos una oración, write an example, pero algo que sea bien personal, que usted vea la palabra y se recuerde. Ah, esta es la palabra, ok. So this is the meaning of the word. For example, esta palabra seldom no es muy utilizada, right? Y puede ser algo nuevo. So you can make an example using seldom. Please, pongamos mucha atención a la posición. I always, I usually, I normally, I often, I sometimes. Siempre van en esta posición, ya? Yeah? So no las cambiemos, please. Don't put it, don't place it in another, in another uh, location, all right? So, tiene like four minutes, Cuatro, cinco minutitos, and then we come and check, all right? So, me avisan, please, let me know si tienen alguna duda, if there is something que quieran revisar, all right? I'll be happy to check that for you. So guys, do you need more time? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta, like anything you want to check? Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. El mimis, tell me. Natalie. Uh, yes, tell me. Tell me, tell me. How can I help you? Ah, perdón, pensé que me decía del mi. No, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Bien, eh, por ejemplo, normally I try to work. O es, I work, I, I try to work normally. Ok, um, no, actually, estos siempre se ponen en la misma posición, you know. Siempre, siempre van como en un lugar bien especial. Let me share my whiteboard. So, algunas veces hay personas que lo cambian, and it's okay, o ellos tienen como la razón por la cual están cambiando. But I would say, siempre van a tener esto. I, always. Uh, por ejemplo, I arrive to work early on time. Okay, so I always arrive to work on time. 
soy yo siempre, right? Pero yo también lo puedo cambiar. And puede ser como, ay, no, casi siempre, right? Porque he llegado un par de veces tarde. Entonces, I almost all, oh, let me see. I hardly ever, por ejemplo. O puedo utilizar I often, I write to work on time. So, lo demás no va cambiando. Lo único que va cambiando es con qué frecuencia esto sucede. So, I often, I write to work on time. O después digo, ah, no, si ya tengo un llamado de atención, you know, porque siempre llego tarde. So, and then I come to, ah, oh, no, I usually, or I hardly ever, I write to work on time. Okay. Entonces, eh, eso no cambia. La posición de estos siempre va a ir acá. I hardly ever, I never, I always, and, uh, y luego el verbo o la actividad de la que estamos hablando. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, my family sometimes go to beach. My family sometimes goes, como tercera persona. Yes, because it's my family. Uh -huh. Pero sí, But sometimes. My family, sometimes. my family, are they? Eh, no, my family se considera una, porque es una familia. A pesar que son varios miembros, se considera singular. Uh, uh, my family travels, my family goes, my family thinks. Mm -hmm. Sí, eso okay. es como una pequeña exception. Yes. Trust. You're welcome. So, um, algunas veces puede que esta palabra la escuchen al inicio, you know, puede que la escuchen acá. Like, hardly ever I have right to work, pero no es muy común. The most common position for them is exactamente acá, después del I. So that would be the, the most common one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are welcome. Any other question, guys? Feel free to ask, please. If you have questions, comments, algo que no estén seguros, let me know and we can clarify that. Chicos, ¿cómo están de clima allá? How is it there in your houses? Hay mucho viento. Or not much. Yes, teacher. Y lo hay. In a Wachapan, yes. Is it no, cold? Mucho, mucho. Cold. Yes. Cold here, yes. Is it like very windy? Hay mucho viento? No. No. Not too much yeah. in your house. No, no. Okay. Because, I, I mean, I'm asking you because in my house está como, hay mucho viento. It's very windy, you know. So, I don't know if, if it's the same in todos los lugares. Okay, everybody. So I would like to listen to you. Me gustaría escuchar like what you got. Okay. Um, no son solo ejemplos por ser ejemplos, but it's like part of your own daily, you know, living into this. So me gustaría escuchar algunas de las actividades that you always do, you never do, something that um, you usually tend to do, etc. 
so if I want to, I mean, I can share, of course, a part of myself. So for example, here, I can tell you like with normally, so I normally listen to music. I often listen to, uh, oh my God, I often listen to Wanda, to pop, to rock, uh, to English music, but I never listen to bachata. So I don't like bachata. I hardly ever listen to, um, what is the other, salsa? I don't like salsa. So I hardly ever listen to salsa. I often, I seldom, I gotta say, I seldom listen to um, this guy. There is a guy of salsa, a salsa singer, you know, who is good. I don't like salsa, but I seldom listen to, to Mark Anthony, I gotta say. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. And then I listen to other type of singers. So tell me a little bit about your music taste. Who do you listen to? ¿A quién escuchan, guys? Who do you always listen to? O qué tipo de música you never listen to? I, I never listen reggaeton. Okay, but like never, ever? So you don't like it? Never, never. Okay, so I you don't like listen? it. Okay. I uh, hate. You hate Felicidades. reggaeton, okay. Felicidades. I occasionally <laughs> listen to reggaeton, okay? So, but she never, she never listens to reggaeton. Okay, cool. Guys, what about the rest? Y los demás, tell me about your music taste. I, 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 I always listen to Queen. Oh, I it. cool, that's really good music. So you listen to Queen, okay? Guys, lo demás, tell me, tell me. I'm all ears. I, I, I always, always listen, I always listen, listen to, music, to Ada Smith, Coldplay. Coldplay, Sandra says salsa. René said salsa. Yes, I like the salsa music. Okay, salsa I often, music. I often listen to Pearl Jam. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest? Y los demás, do you listen I to music? Are you Me? Yes, Brenda. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> listen to listen to romantic music in Spanish or in English. Uh, in Spanish. For example, who do you listen to? Camila. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I never yeah. listen to Camila. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. So romantic music in Spanish. Okay, cool. Teacher? Yes, yes, Danny. I always listen to heavy metal. Uh I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you listen to heavy metal. I mean, I say it because of the teacher. Danny, Danny, do you listen to reggaeton? No, no, no. Okay. René, always I never. Maluma. Always. René always listen to, really, René. Is René always, here? Always reggaeton. René. I, 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 do you, I, I, do you I like, like reggaeton, but, but no todo, no todo reggaeton. Ah, no so lo you vale. like reggaeton. Okay, just, just, just yes, he dance. asking, asking how often. Yes, he dance. <laughs> okay. No le gusta, pero lo baila. <laughs> okay. no. Moses, what about you? You look very serious, you know. So, what type of music do you listen to? I'm like, I'm a light time fan. Yes, uh, usually, uh, Guns N' Roses music. Guns N' Roses, cool. So you yeah, Moses, good, Moses. Very nice, Moses. Okay, nice. nice. Anybody the else? Best. Anybody else? The best see. music. That's a very, yeah, that's super cool. Uh, Jesus, what about you? I think you are the youngest of the group. What type of music do you listen to? I like li listen uh, rap. Rap, like hip hop. Yeah. yeah. How often? Yeah. How often do you listen to hip hop music? I like uh, uh, how, uh, how often? Uh, always. <laughs> I like so, okay. it always. Uh, también. I, I like to listen podcasts. 
podcast. Yes. Uh, you mean the program? Yeah. The, the podcast, uh, the normal podcast. Yeah. Sí, normal podcast. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah. In right. Spanish or in English? In Spanish. In Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. No, but it's good. It's really cool. Okay, yeah. what about a type of music you never listen to, guys? What is something you never ever listen to? So, Jocelyn, Anna, what about your music taste? What is something you never listen to? Norberto. I never listen to perreo music. <laughs> okay, so not real talk. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. What about the rest? I never teach perreo. Tell me you don't like it. No, okay. No, okay. Like it. No problem. Uh, what about you, uh, Norbert? I yeah, never uh, rock. You never listen to rock? Yes. Oh, this is different. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so you never listen to rock? So what do you normally listen to? ¿Qué escucha? What do you listen to? Salsa. Salsa. Okay. So on a normal day, para hacer limpieza, you listen to salsa music. Uh, Ranchera, después, ranchera. Después del trabajo. Ah, okay. Like to relax. I love rancheras. So I usually listen to rancheras in Los Tigres del Norte, you know? I always with beer. No, without. <laughs> I just <laughs> like the music, yeah. Okay, guys. I like it. Very cool use of the adverbs. Exactamente así se usan. So always. Yeah, so I just siempre lo oigo, okay? Usually, yeah, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, hardly, hardly ever, and never, okay? So I never mm -hmm. listened to a... ¿Qué les dije que nunca escuchaba? I never listened... No, 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 I didn't say that. Wait, wait, wait. I bachata. never listened to bachata. Yeah, salsa. I hardly ever listen to salsa, exactly, so I don't like it that much. I occasionally listen to reggaeton, yeah, and I normally listen to rancheras, and I usually listen <laughs> to English music, so I like, and my favorite singer is James Arthur, uno británico, James Arthur. So I always listen to James Arthur. He's a good singer. Yes, Ingrid, tell me. Y como se dice, ahora me está gustando empezar a escuchar música en inglés. Actually, yeah, no hay como una forma exactamente, pero usted puede decir, se lo voy a escribir, yeah, se lo voy a escribir en el chat para que sea como más específico. Es como ahorita, now, I am listening to. So no es como exactamente me está gustando porque no se puede expresar eso. Pero si yo le puedo decir como estos días o ahorita yo estoy escuchando esta música. All right. Mm -hmm. Like for example, now, like this year, I am listening to, no sé guys, quién es como el más, el más, qué tipo de música se oye these days. I'm not too much into music now. But let's say that I am listening to uh, all collections of music, yeah? I am listening to Leo Dan and all those things, okay? <laughs> so no es como que me esté gustando, sino que estoy escuchando. So I'm listening to. This is one way to say it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, preguntas. Hola? I like music Leo Dan. Oh, Leo Dan is, is a good singer. He was a good singer. Um, preguntas con esto o está súper claro? La verdad es que es un tema súper cool. I like it. Bien fácil de entender, I believe. Yeah. But si hay algo que no, que no hayan comprendido, you know, que no esté claro, please let me know. Y así lo aclaramos antes de empezar a practicar. So we can clarify that. No questions? Everything good? Anderson, deje de salir, deje de salir desperdiciando eso su papá y se va a usar de cara, Tatiana. Oh, all right. So, no, I think there are no questions. Ingrid, <laughs> les, 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 les lo silencio siento, el micrófono. Lo siento, just perdón, teacher. No worries, yes, no se preocupe. Just in case, se lo, okay. se lo apague yo, ¿no? Eh, I seldom see that greeting. Mm, Danis, ¿me ayuda con eso? 
I sell them. Es como, ah, sería. Yo rara vez. Se, se, ajá, rara vez. Saludo sentado. Um, o sería. Wait, <laughs> I'm trying to understand the idea. Como por ejemplo, estoy sentado y, er, y usted se levanta cuando va a saludar a alguien. Sí, sí. Hey, Sandra. Sí. Lo siento, no me había fijado que me escribió al WhatsApp. Hasta ahorita, <laughs> you know that I just got it. Ok, gracias, gracias. Y agradezca al vecino también que le dé internet. You know? <laughs> I'm super happy you're back. Ok. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like. Entonces sería como, I normally, en, en vez de poner como yo rara vez eh, de saludo sentado, hagamos lo opuesto. Podríamos decir como, I usually stand up to say hello. Es lo mismo, pero de una forma diferente. Es que la idea okay. suena como un poquito, no sé, difícil de expresar. Ah, oh, yeah. uh -huh. I usually stand up to say hello. Uh -huh. So saludar es como say hello. Mm -hmm. I think it's easier to explain. Yes, Miss, tell me. Yo puse, pero no sé si está bien la frase. Sí, sí. I, seldom, okay. seldom. I seldom wake up late. I seldom, yes, I seldom wake up late. Como rara vez me, me levanto tarde, right? I seldom get up late. Mm. Sí, eso es súper bien. So I seldom, or I, or I hardly ever, es lo mismo. So, uh, es rabbit. como rara vez. I seldom, yes. Ok, cool, I like it. Now, guys, vamos a hacer nuestras propias, sorry, vamos a hacer nuestras propias preguntas, ok? Like how often we do some of these activities. Um, hablamos de, de um, las preguntas la vez anterior, revisamos un poquito cómo hacerlas, no es difícil, but let's go over this part, super quick. So, primero es qué tan a menudo, right? So, the question is how often, ok? How often do you? Que tenga menudo tú, all right? And uh, what I want you to do, guys, okay, es que vamos a hacer cinco preguntas solamente, pero preguntas que usted crea que el compañero le va a decir never or hardly ever, okay? So piensen en cosas que el compañero le va a decir, oh, no, yo nunca hago eso, okay? I never do that, or I hardly ever do that, all right? So cinco preguntas. Let's make five questions using how often, que su compañero le vaya a responder, Never or hardly ever. I seldom say the best word. Uh, yes, Jerixa, that is a good sentence. Yes, that's okay. Very nice. So how often do you? Let's make five questions. Son solo cinco, it's only five questions. Pero cinco que el compañero le diga never, ok? So, ¿alguna idea? Anything that comes to your mind?
Two more minutes. Is everybody ready? Necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time, guys? Please give me some confirmation. Si ya terminamos, so we can I know. Don't. Thank don't. you. Thank you so much. Don't. Thank you so much for the confirmation. También para los que me escribieron en el chat. Thank you so much. So, solo me faltan like four or five guys, and then we get ready to practice. Okay, so guys, las preguntas que acaban de escribir, the questions that you just wrote. La idea es precisamente encontrar a alguien que le diga, like, never, I never do it. So, I guess las preguntas no son como de cosas tan comunes. I hope so, okay? Obvio, obviously, the idea is just to practice, okay? You can answer, think about it, listen carefully. Y recuerden que cuando ustedes escuchen how often, hey, how often, le están preguntando de frecuencia, de qué tan a menudo usted hace una actividad, right? So that's important para que eduquemos nuestra vida. Um, vamos a practicar en grupos. Have fun. Okay. Enjoy the activity. That is the most important thing. Talk to your classmates. Si tienen más tiempo adicional, you know, o se terminan las preguntas, go ahead and make more. So that would be super cool. So give me one second here. I'm going to ask you to... Join the groups in just a little while. Okay, there you go. So, guys, go, go and enjoy it. So, tienen like seven minutes probably to finish. So, go, go and talk to your classmates. Hello. Hi, Miss. Hi, teacher. Alguien corta. Hi, guys. Eh, so, solo estoy acá pasando, ¿ok? <laughs> you can go ahead and practice. <laughs> solo voy pasando. Ok, Dani. Okay. Hi. How often do you visit the church? What? How often do you visit the church? No, 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 no,
¿Cómo no va? <risa> ¿Qué tan a menudo vas a la iglesia? Ah, ne never. Ya <risa> 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 Ya sabía, por eso ah, se la hizo directo. Y... <risa> yes. Thank you. Uh, nueva, nueva palabra. ¿Verdad? <risa> eh, Daisy. Tell me. Eh, quiero ver cuál le pregunta usted. How often do you receive a gift from your partner? Mm. Never. No. <laughs> Or... <You're triste. laughs> yes. Okay. No I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, everyone, my friend. Do you angry? Uh, ¿Para qué? Para todas las preguntas. Sí, yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. There you see. I frequently. Did you? Really? Frequently, Henry, yes. Oh. Mm, en el lavadero tienen que estar. Is, uh -huh. is he angry to me? <laughs> um. Norbert. Hi, Norbert. Hi, Norbert. Repeat the question. Estás <laughs> poniendo atención, Norbert. I'm sorry. Vaya, le voy a preguntar. How often do you listen to reggaeton music? Yeah. Yeah. Norbert. Okay. Sí, no, no, no te capté la última, la última palabra. I always read a book. And I hardly ever. ever. Hardly ever. Never. How often do you wash clothes? I catch man. I usually. I usually in the weekend, weekend spend the semana. I usually week, weekend, sí. Okay, thank you. Next. Yo creo que yo me equivoqué con las preguntas porque, bueno, solo hice dos, pero yo había puesto primero con lo que estábamos, con las frases. Puse, normally, what time do you go to bed? Que teníamos que ocupar how often. How often. Hola, Liz. ¿Qué tal, eh, menudo? Hola, guys. <laughs> I know this no, 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 ya, ya escuché, escuché qué pasó. No se preocupe, eh, la pregunta está bien. Cuando se pregunta, normally, what time do you do this activity? La pregunta está súper bien. Solo que la idea era como practicar el sentido de, de frecuencia, you know? Entonces, cambia un poquito a how uh -huh. Porque si yo le pregunto, normally, what time do you go to bed? Me va a decir la hora, right? 11, 10. Pero yo quiero saber la frecuencia que usted, o que tan a menudo usted se va a esa hora de la cama. Entonces, cambia un poquito ah, y es como sí. how often. Uh -huh. How often do you go to bed? At 10. Yeah. How often do you go to bed? <laughs> Exacto. How often do you go to bed? At 10, at 11, at 12. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Uh... 
Did you say Giovanni? Okay. Uh, how how often do you smoke ganja? Never. <laughs> I never. <laughs> Díganos, sean sinceros. Pues. <laughs> never, never. Never. Uh, Marvin. I don't know never. what it is. I don't know never. what is that. <laughs> Okay, next. Uh, how often do you go to... That, uh, Giovanni, I'm sorry to bother you. Sen sorry to interrupt. Uh, ¿Sabe algo de Dani by any chance? Oh, sí, teacher. Este, tiene incapacidad en el trabajo porque se sacó unas muelas y no ha llegado a trabajar. Uh, okay, lo que sucede es que no, no tenemos el número de él. Uh, he doesn't answer it. ¿Quiere que me lo comparte después, please? Ok. okay. O, o, o solo si, si, si le dice que nos escriba o algo, ¿verdad? Para que los compañeros sepan que, que tiene incapacidad. Please. Thank ok, you. teacher. Ok. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, how often do you go to the gym? Mm. Palabras, ¿verdad? Ah, yes. Pero, pero, pero sí es once a week. Ok. Veamos, chicos. How often do you visit um, theater? Creo que sí se dice teatro. Theater. Uh, I, never visit visit visit. Visit. I never visit. I never visit. How often do you okay. catch animals? Sorry. How often do you catch animals? Atrapar. Mm, I never. Mm. Only most. <laughs> si les preguntan oh, si van al reggaeton, van a decir todo nunca porque no a nadie le gustaba el reggaeton, dijo. <laughs> No, no, depende de la ocasión. How often do you, how often do you study French? We never. Okay. Sorry. How often do you watch series? Repeat. How often do you watch series? Like Netflix. How often do you check something on Netflix? Oh, like a movie, series. Oh, yeah. oh, Todos los días. Every day? Every day. Uh, Always. Okay. All right. Uh, so, guys, what about the rest of you? How often do you check something on Netflix? So yeah, Erickson uh, says every day. What about you? How often do you? I'm normally. I normally. normally. Okay. Claribel, what I, about you? I usually, I usually on the week, weekend. On the weekend. Okay. Natalie yes. and you? I, I never. You never check something on, on Netflix, like movies? I I like movies, but I don't. I don't have uh, um, Netflix. Time? <laughs> oh, Netflix. Okay. No, but okay. Like not necessarily Netflix, but any. Uh, oh. For example, you can watch movies in YouTube, or you can watch. Yes. Um, there are a lot of places where you can have subscriptions or watch a movie or websites. So, do you normally like? I, I watch. Uh, normally, I watch uh, movies in YouTube. Mm -hmm. YouTube. Uh, I often watch TV. I often. You prefer to watch TV. Okay. I have Netflix, but not anymore. So, I watch my soap opera in YouTube. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Why? So Why is your favorite? My Where, soap opera, favorite soap la opera. <laughs> Where's your favorite soap opera? Uh, I got a lot. 
But I prefer all sopoperas. So I prefer sopoperas from maybe the 90s. Um, I don't know. Um, the last sopopera I saw was La Reina del Sur. So I don't know. Yeah, como de narcos. That was okay, yeah. Esa fue la última, I think. That was the last. What about you guys? So, ¿qué fue lo último que vieron? How often do you watch anything? Descuida, yo te cuido. The movie. A movie? Uh, en Netflix, está muy buena, la recomiendo. Okay, okay. Sounds, okay. Jerix, what about you? Do you normally watch something on, on YouTube? Or on Netflix? Netflix. Opera, a series? So, Kevin, what do you watch? Serious. Uh, for example, what do you recommend? Oh, hay una que, que hace poco ha salido que se llama Detrás de sus ojos. Detrás está, de sus ojos. está bien genial. ¿Es it romantic? No, como suspenso. Oh, okay. Pero sí trae cosas. Está bien genial. Ok, detrás de sus ojos. All right. Do you watch it every day? Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, after the class. <laughs> During yes. the class. <laughs> okay. In the class. No. In the class. Uy, no, during, no. <laughs> okay. No, but it's okay. I mean, detrás de sus ojos. I haven't heard that. Claribel, what about you? What Do you watch a series or just movies? Uh, ¿cómo se, how do you say que yo recomiendo? I recommend I recommend, solo que esta es una uh, super viejita, este es Moby. Oh, oh sí, Lana Lang, I like Woman. Oh, I remember that one. Yes, that was pretty cool. Clark Kent. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty cool. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Amigo. Yeah, you're right. It's Pero más old. Nada. I think it was, it Yo was the first. Saben, en sexto grado cuando salió en el 2 o en el 6. Wow. En el 6. Sí. I don't remember, but it was good. It was quite good. Está uh -huh. en Amazon Prime, por cierto. Mm, okay. I don't have any subscription now. So I prefer, you know, go to net, etc. But yeah, Smallville is, is one of my favorites. I recommend uh, Suits. Oh, vi, vi que había escrito eso, but I don't understand. Es como, I do, uh, what do you say, abogado, uh, liar? Lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. Uh -huh. Lawyers, uh -huh. Is that a serious? Yes. Okay. Or a soap opera? No, serious. Okay. Because some of them are soap No, that's not. Okay. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Que 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 hablan que es soap opera. Soap opera. I'm going to write it. Se la voy a escribir. Yes, es una novela. A soap opera. So, son lo que nosotros llamamos novelas, you know, like las mexicanas, las de uh, arcos and everything. Uh -huh, like everything that is about like, like from channel two, four, six. <laughs> so, they are so uh, uh -huh. El canal de las estrellas. Yeah, because oh. series, Marvel, uh, I, I don't understand because now le llaman series a todas. But as far as I remember, the operas were like Pasión de, la, de Gavilanes in all of them. <laughs> and then, <laughs> that was good, right? And now with series, so como más cortitas. They are shorter, I understand, but I don't know. Yeah, that's the opera. Miss, how do you say Turquía? Uh, tur uh, Turkey. Turkey. I recommend uh, soap opera. Uh, Turkey, Turkey. Okay. Yes. What is Very the name? Nice. Vi una y me gustó bastante. Very nice. Can you repeat the name? Mm, bueno, yo vi una que se llamaba Alas del Amor. Oh. Okay. Super buena. <laughs> okay. I don't know she opera. To be honest with you, I don't have a TV. So. <laughs> So I don't know, <laughs> but but someday where is that? Yeah, because also if you like doramas and Japanese Korean things, yes, I guess I'm gonna go see Korea. Yes, a lot of things. Yes. 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 Y
Oh, nice. Sounds good. Okay, everybody. So let's go back to the next section. Nice talking to you. Let's go back. Hey guys, thank you uh, for coming back. How was your talk? Como les fue? How was it? Good. Good, good teacher. Good. Did you have good, fun? Teacher. Very, good. Very 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 good. Was it fun? Yes. Se divirtieron? I mean, the, the point is, you know, to... Yes. To yes. 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 Okay. So, ¿qué se recuerdan? What do you remember? What do your classmates say? Um, Normerto, no, no smoke. Oh, the question was like, how often do you smoke or something? Yes, Norberto. Oh, he never smokes, yes. Never smokes. Excellent. Okay. That, that's I, I remember, teacher, uh, Dennis, mm -hmm. and never visit the church. <laughs> I listened to that question. It was like, okay, Danny, I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, he was, she was gunning as you. Okay, so he never visited the church. Okay, uh, guys, anybody else? Alguien más visita la iglesia? Jesus, sorry, go. No, 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 it's okay. El nada más que René y y, y Moisés cook always. Oh, really? Oh. Bárbaro, really? really? Wow, <laughs> bravo, <laughs> nice. nice. Yo le digo a ella, yo le voy, voy a entrevistar a sus esposas, Super le digo yo para ver si es cierto. So, no saying, lo sé, Rick, no lo sé, Rick. So you said, un, un, un cafecito, le digo yo, un cafecito por lo menos siempre. El café y el pan. <laughs> ah, aquí se le va a poner el agua. <laughs> no, pero... Eh, but... Pero es cocina. Pero quema el agua. <laughs> <laughs> These girls are terrible. But Moses, how often do you cook? I mean, like seriously cook. Not a maruchak, not a sandwich, but like food, homemade <laughs> food. No, all food. For example, what can you cook? Uh, the chicken, uh, the steak, meat, pork, pork, egg, egg. <laughs> so frozen. Ah, uh, okay. But like, you cook every day? Do you cook every day? Do you make it's your lunch? Day. Okay. It's wow. Nice. Very good, Moses. Super, super good. Rene, what about you? Do you make coffee every day? <laughs> no, just yes. kidding. Do you cook every day? <laughs> no, every day. No, but... Teacher, teacher, yes, Jocelyn. Uh, Moses cook a uh, turkey every ah, every every Christmas. Uh -huh. Christmas once a year. Oh, I cook in a turkey and uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Whoa! I cook in turkey and Christmas. Yes. So you make yes. turkey, wow. But that's super cool. I, I like it because, I mean, uh, it is not that if nobody is at home, you can always cook. So that's very important. Okay. Uh, Marvin, dijeron que le iban a preguntar. So Marvin, what about you? Do you cook, Marvin? My, my desayuno, my big, my breakfast. Okay. Do you make it every day? So you, do you cook every day? For me. Oh, okay. No, but I mean, it, it's okay. So that's very <laughs> nice. Yeah. So uh, I mean, I think it's it's very important that you tend to cook sometime. So guys, let me share a couple of more questions with you all. Okay. Some of the questions that we have been discussing. So la primera, it says talk about your hobbies and talk about your activities a little bit. Number one says, how often do you watch? Okay. Uh, oopsie, le falta TV. How often do you watch TV and what do you watch? Okay. So, ¿qué tan a menudo ve televisión? ¿Y qué ven en la televisión? Okay. Like, I hardly ever watch TV. 
but if I watch TV, I normally watch the news. And that's it. Otherwise, okay. Otherwise <laughs> so there is. How often do you watch TV and what do you watch on TV? Okay. How often do you go out with your family and what do you do? So when you go out, what are the activities that you do together? Okay. Um, what do you do on your day off? So whenever you have like a day off, what do you do um, on that day? Do you always go out with your family? Do you stay at home watching TV? Do you relax a little bit? Uh, or you never have a day off? So what do you do on your day off? Um, and the last one is very related con la que acaban de decir los compañeros, like do you normally cook? And what do you cook? Okay. So if the answer is, do you normally cook? If the answer is yes, so what do you normally cook? Okay. So for example, me llama la atención que, que Moses makes turkey for Christmas. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I have never made turkey, I think. So guys, alguno ha hecho turkey? Have you ever cooked turkey for Christmas? Or just turkey in general? Yes, teacher. Never. Okay, so Danny has. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Probably it's not like a very Took a good black. tradition. Black. Black. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know if there are black turkey. Okay. <laughs> I would say just turkey. Okay. But I would say chicken is more common. Turkey is not. So, okay. Uh, so, guys, les voy a dar un par de minutitos. I will give you some seconds para que pensemos. De hecho, es como dos minutos nada más. Para que piensen un poquito en these activities, ok. Pueden tomar notas, you can take notes, of course, para que sea un poco más fluido. Especially this, what do you do on your day off? Podemos usar los frequency words, always, never, sometimes, ok. And there we go. So, two minutes. ¿Crees que me podrías comprar un sobre de Nantium? Okay, everybody, so I gave you some seconds para que pudieran como analyze the question. You kind of got your idea, okay? And now let's go and practice. So, vamos a crear una conversación using algunas de esas preguntas, okay? You can select like one or two questions from here and uh, vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. So, creemos una conversación cortita, all right? 
donde podamos poner en práctica some of these questions, parte de lo que acabamos de revisar, de frequency adverbs, like always, sometimes, never, etc. And then la vamos, a, vamos a venir y vamos a presentarla. Solamente, no todos van a pasar, okay, but you get ready because maybe it can be you, all right? Uh, guys, solamente los quiero interrumpir y tengo un pequeño comercial. Como los compañeros les, nos indicaban anteriormente, eh, nuestra sesión de uno a uno ya no va a ser eh, los días miércoles, sino que lo dejamos al final de cada sesión, you know? Entonces comenzamos el día de ahora. Solamente una persona se nos queda a las 8 de la noche y desde ahora en adelante va a ser así, you know? A las 8 terminamos y luego 10 minutitos para one on one, all right? Y para que los demás no, no, no se esperen tanto tiempo, ¿verdad? No sacrificarlos tampoco y pues no ganarles mucho tiempo de, o robarles mucho tiempo de sueño, you know? Así que that was the commercial, okay? <laughs> Now, eh, that being said, okay, eh, les voy a dar 10 minutos para que preparen su conversación. Luego venimos, la presentamos, and that would be it. So, guys, 10 minutes. Go, go, please. You got 10 minutes. No logré apretar el botoncito. No se preocupe, está en el teléfono o está en la computadora. En el teléfono. Bueno, en el teléfono, si usted se va a la última paginita o en la parte de arriba, fíjese en la parte derecha de su teléfono, hay como un cuadrito, como un menú. ¿De 3 por 3? No. En la parte de arriba, es como bien pequeñito. Es solo es un, cuadri, un cuadrito. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Bueno, Ahorita. solo lo presioné ahí. Ajá. Ok. Comiencen y yo los veo. Eh. <risa> Hi, Miss. Es son de las cuatro, ¿verdad? Luis? Teacher. No nos escucha. I'm sorry, I couldn't listen. Dígame. Es usando todas las, las cuatro preguntas. Uh, no, no necesariamente. Puedes coger uh, como una dos y eso estaría bien. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. Daisy. Daisy. Idea? Hola. Una idea de cómo, cómo iniciar una conversación con cualquiera de las opciones que nos dieron para. Ahorita Sandra, espérate. Okay. la idea? You wash. Um, break. Uh, what do you do on your day off? Vemos. No sé, agarrar eso. I watch TV 
Eh, es que escucho cortado. Sometimes. Can you repeat, please? I sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, in the night. Uh -huh. I sometimes. Uh, what What do you watch? What do you watch? What series? Series. ¿Cómo sería series? But what series? What series do you? What do you? Ah, no sé. Eh, what, <laughs> or what series do you watch? Algo así. What, what series? Oh, what pro, program do you watch? Um, Doctor House. Yeah, Doctor House. Wow. <laughs> nice. me llega. Yes. Very sí, cool. Me, sí, me llega a serie. <laughs> eh, <laughs> And you? You, eh, you, Giovanni? I watch Strange eh, Fish Panama. Eh, and uh, you, Rene, what favorite series? I, I like uh, eh, Sweet, Sweet, sí, eh, de abogado. Uh, oh, I, really? Yes, I like this. I like big series. Uh, how often do you? How often do you go out with your with your family? Repeat. Uh, how you often? Go? How often do you go out with your family? In what do you do? ¿Con qué frecuencia salen a, a comer o a, a, al cine con la familia? Uh, I, I go with my family to the bar uh, normally on Sunday and Saturday uh, and you Sandra repeat please oh. etcétera, ¿cómo se dice etcétera? Entonces yo voy a, voy a intervenir otra vez y voy a preguntar. Seriously, creo que así se dice. Seriously, it is very very in interesante se escribe se escribe interesting y ahí podría agregar la otra pregunta ajá ajá interviene William de nuevo Marvin. Marvin. Ay, perdón. Ya <risa> <risa> le he puesto todo, perdón. Marvin. Vaya, Marvin. Entonces interviene nuevamente con otra pregunta. Eh, y esa y ahí podemos ver la del de, la de TV, no, u otra cosa. O se reúnen de familia. Eh, sí, preguntarle a quizás a Idalia de que, que si ella pasa viendo la televisión. ¿Qué es lo que mira? O podríamos preguntar como, ¿con qué frecuencia se reúnen para comer lo que cocina? Es mi favorito de Siria. Ahora, si yo te pregunto a ti, ¿cómo often do you watch TV? Um, what do you watch?
Y... Um, how often, Brian? Yeah. What do you do on your days off? Me, how do you how often do you? No, what do you do on your day off? Yes. Me dijo. Sí. Uh, I get up late. I I go to the car wash. I blah, 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 no, sorry, I visit my mom. Um, I watch TV. That's it. And you, what do you do on, on your day off? Mm. How do you say lavar ropa in English? <laughs> dress, dresser. Uh, I watch dress, dresser. Um, mis días libres. Quiero ver. Laundry. Laundry. Lava ropa, dice. Bueno, voy a, no lo voy a decir así, me que. I wash my clothes. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming back. Okay. So I was listening to you, and I think that we are almost ready for this. So, estuvo Dígame. bueno eso. Estuvo bueno eso ahorita. Estar okay. Estando. Nice to hear that. Nice to hear that. Ingrid, do me a favor. Del 1 al 18, dígame un número, por favor. Tell me one number. Siete. Siete. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Giovanni, you are number seven on my list. So thank you so much for this. And you are the lucky one. So yes, Giovanni, go. Let me see. I got Giovanni and uh, Rene and Sandra Rodas. Guys, los escuchamos. The time is all yours. <laughs> Bye guys, improvisamos. Sure, no hay problema. It's totally fine. Remember, it's, de eso se trata communication. So go. Se nos murieron las últimas neuronas que teníamos. 
<laughs> Sandra, ready? René, ¿verdad? Yes. Hi, guys. Oh, ahí está. Okay. Hi. René, no va a hacer las preguntas. Uh -huh. How often do you watch TV and what do you watch? Watch. Sometime in the night. Eh, I remember I watch TV eh, eh, always in the night at 11 p.m. And you? And my favorite series is Doctor House. And I watch eh, this series every day. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. How often do you go out with your family? In what do you do? Uh, I go to the park with my family. Uh, sometimes uh, on Sunday. And you, Sandra? For example, in my case, I sometimes I go out with my family. The last place I visit is Coffee Lake. It's a good place. I believe Sandra was having problems with the microphone, right? Que se le estaba yes. congelando el audio. I remember that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Está malo el internet ahorita. Yeah, quizás por el cambio de clima también and el viento and everything. Mm -hmm. The teacher only entonces. Okay, no worries. Guys, thank you so much. But I, I like it. I mean, you got the question, you answer it. Y de eso se trata, you know, that we can improvise a little y que comprendamos las preguntas. Thank you so much. That's pretty cool. Guys, next. Uh, René, please, select next person. Yeah, I, I guess so. Okay, no se preocupe, Sandra. Thank you so much for letting us know. Yeah, recuerdo que lo había mencionado. Who, René? Who? Comienza con B y termina con N. Okay, I think we know who the person is. So, Brian, they are uh, calling you over. So, acá lo piden, you know. They request, they need you here. So, uh, you work with Yarixa and Norberto. So, guys, okay, whenever you are ready. Um, en realidad, este, solo capté lo de Norberto. Yo no le dije, en eso entramos a platicar con Brian, pero le voy a decir lo que, le voy a contestar lo que este, Norberto dice. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la palabra de, como ocasionalmente, en la frecuencia? Occasionally. Ok. He occasionally watch notices and weekly goes to your family and enjoys the visit. He enjoys day off do exercise and go the shopping. Goes, sería verdad, porque es tercera persona. Yeah, and he goes. Family, he cooks sometimes chicken. Okay, uh, Brian, guys, what about the rest of you? What about you, Norberto? Yo los dejé a ellos, honestamente, tuve que salir de casa a traer un medicamento y cuando oh, me reincorporé con ellos, ya estaba finalizando la sesión. Okay, no, no worries, no. thank you, thank you, though. Okay, okay, that, that, so I, I got, I understand, uh, then, Jerixa, que eso fue como lo que, lo que Humberto le iba contando, right? What he was telling you. Sí, así es. Mm, okay, okay. Are those their, like his hobbies or something? Eran como parte de sus hobbies o algo así? Sí, yo le hacía la pregunta y él me iba diciendo lo que hacía, entonces yo iba captando como lo iba a decir. Okay, 
Okay, gotcha. Thank, thank you. That's okay. That's I think we got that part. Thank you so much, Jerixa. All right, guys. Jerixa, please uh, tell me somebody else's. Yeah, somebody else's name. Dígame el nombre de alguien más. Choose somebody. Okay. Ana Delmi. Okay, so Ana Delmi. Ana was with Brenda and Moses. So guys, go. Yo iba a seleccionar a Brenda, qué casualidad. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so Brenda Moses, no. go guys, go, go, go. Hi guys. Hello, Brenda. Hello, hello guys. How are you? Hello, fine. Fine. Thank you. What about you, Moises? Hi, uh, Brenda, how often do you watch TV and what do you watch? I always, always I watch TV on the weekend and I watch, I watch a scary movie. I like it, scary movie. I watch TV with my with my children. What about you, Moses? How often do you watch TV? And what do you watch? Moses. Yeah, I watch action movies and series with my family. Yes. Very good. And you tell me? I usually watch TV um, series, the Netflix. Okay. And how often do you go out, out with your family? And what do you do? I go to the beach once a month, once a month uh, with my family uh, with my friends and you Anna? um i normally uh, uh, go with my family at a beach in a um, lake um, only that I usually go to the park with my children. Normally on weekend. Okay. Cool, guys. It sounds really good. I like it a lot. I like that you use a lot of frequency words, that you understood the question and you got it, you know, you put it together. Uh, and they'll be very good answers as well. So nice. We are improving a lot. Cool. I like it, guys. Um, I think tenemos tiempo para uno más, so we are going to take advantage of it. So me gustaría escucharlos a todos, you know, si fuera posible, because that is, you know, definitely better. Uh, so Brenda, escoja alguien, please choose somebody. Brian. Uh, no, sí, pero el grupo de Brian ya pasó. So he's ah, yo no lo vi. No, okay. lo que pasa es que yo le expliqué que me, me tuve que salir. Sí, tuvo que ausentarse un momento, pero por eso, pero no se preocupe, no worries. Pero queremos escuchar a Marvin, Marvin o a Danis. So, Dani. Qué malo. Podemos participar nosotros. Yes, Ingrid, of course, of course. Uh, so, well, yes, of course. See, sí, sí, if you are ready, Ingrid. So we can go with your group. I see you got Jesus and Miriam. Perfect, guys. We listen to you. That would be nice. Okay, Miss. I am ready. Solo que nosotros no terminamos la conversación. No se preocupe, no worries. I mean, si podemos improvisar y ponerle un poquito más, that would be better, porque al final de eso se trata, you know, to communicate and to understand qué es lo que le quieren preguntar, right? So guys, go ahead. Okay. Empiezo a checar. Hi, Miriam. Hi, yes, uh, How are you? Very good, Ingrid. I am fine. Yes, you? You? Ah, and you I'm very happy. Why do you happy, Ingrid? Because it's my day off. 
Oh, really? What do you do oh, in your day off? Um, it's cook. <clears throat> well, do you normally cook? Um, so, um, pizza, um, um, chicken, and I like to learn new dishes. Oh, uh, Miriam, uh, what do you do in your day off? Mm, I always take a nap and I go, I go out with my friend in the park. And you? Oh. Uh, normally watch TV. Okay. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> Finish. Finish, miss. Cool. Finish. Thank you, guys. Yeah, super cool. I like it a lot, you know. You included a lot of things. And uh, me gustó mucho que estamos mejorando mucha pronunciación, you know. So, Ingrid, very nice job on that. So, super clear. I got you. That was very nice. Eh, Claribel, very good as well, as always, you know, muy bien estructurada, that was nice. Jesus, es casi no la escucho, you know, hablar a lot, and today I'm really happy, I'm really pleased that eh, suena super bien. You, just your intonation is very nice. So good, very good job, bueno, guys. Bueno, okay, guys, we got two minutes. En lo último, pero, yes, en lo miss, último improvisamos porque de lo, de lo, de los últimos minutitos no nos alcanzaron. Me imagino, pero no se preocupe, de hecho de eso se trata. So, la idea es siempre, like, keep on going, you know, siempre seguir. Si tengo para dónde, si tengo algo más que decir, so keep on going. Guys, we got two minutes. Unfortunately, eh, ya no nos alcanza para el grupo de, de Danis que yo sé que quería pasar, you know. Eh, también el grupo de quien más me hizo falta, de Natalie. I think she was missing. And pretty much esos eran los grupos, but hopefully, you know, later on they will be, you know, passing over. So, eh, les quería comentar un poquito y voy a aprovechar esto, ese minutito, you know, para mencionarles eh, cómo va a cambiar la sesión one on one. Ya no va a ser el miércoles porque no, no los queremos sacrificar o que esperen mucho tiempo para su sesión, you know. So, de ahora en adelante nuestra clase termina exactamente a las 8. And uh, voy a terminar exactamente like on time. Eh, luego nos salimos, ok, el resto de, you know, nos retiramos y solamente se me queda la persona que le toca la sesión one on one ese día. That means el día de ahora comenzamos con René. So a las 10 en punto, you know, todos los demás compañeros se salen, me quedo solo con René, you know. El día de mañana vamos a hacer igual, eh, solamente con Daisy. So sería exactamente las 10, 10. Eh, luego Dani, luego Giovanni y Dani le correspondería la del viernes. Okay. So de eso se trata, eh, vamos a evitar que robarles más tiempo, you know, o que esperen hasta las 11 de la noche para tener la sesión one on one. Marvin, dígame. Sí, yo no sé si retomó la asistencia que se me ha estado cortando el internet. Eh, de hecho, sí, sí, lo escuché cuando estaba participando en, eh, y lo tomé. Ya lo anoté, no se preocupe. Sí, yo sé, la verdad es que el internet está feo, de repente creo que todo se nos corta, pero es lo mismo, los cambios de clima a veces afectan, right? So, chicos, agradecerles enormemente por entregarme la tarea el fin de semana. Gracias por, por hacer la tarea, you know, right on time. Yo sé que por ahí estuve molestando a algunos, pero gracias, chicos, por siempre responderme. I truly appreciate it. Uh, intentemos esta semana hacer un poquito más de tal manera que tipo miércoles ya lo tengan terminado y pues ya se terminó su, su obligación de la semana, right? So gracias a todos, I'll see you tomorrow eh, have a great night eh, René solamente me regala 10 minutitos please, and the rest bye bye, see you see you me, see you guys, bye bye buenas noches, buenas noches Bye bye. See ya. See ya. See ya. Hey, Rene. Bye, Giovanni. <laughs> okay. So, hey, Rene, gracias por quedarse. Thank you so much.
Le voy a robar solo un par de minutitos extra de ahora para nuestra sesión 101. Ok. Este, no recuerdo si tuvimos la sesión anterior, pero igual quiero aprovechar porque, eh, porque vamos mejorando bastante. Lo he escuchado últimamente que, que participa más, que ha mejorado su vocabulario. Eh, su gramática es muy buena, la forma de estructurar es súper buena y, y lo hace como, obviamente estructura bien, tiene muy buen vocabulario, entonces cuando menciona algo, cuando habla, es bien claro lo que dice. Así que estamos trabajando súper bien, vamos mejorando bastante, no sé qué es lo que está haciendo, you know, pero está funcionando, así que I'm really happy eh, que, que sí, a I mí mean, yo, yo he notado la mejora. So what about you? ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? Bien, pues gracias a Dios, bien. Hemos estado viendo ahí como eh, eh, practicando. Ha estado practicando con Marvin. Mm, con más que todo en el internet, así me pongo a, uh -huh. a, estar, a estar buscando algo para, para uh -huh. por lo menos un ratito al día. Por lo sí, menos para entretenerse con algo. Exactamente. Ah, eso. ok. Ok, sí, sí, la verdad es que no recuerdo qué día fue la semana pasada que lo estuve escuchando, and, uh, y no, no recuerdo el tema que estábamos viendo, y me llamó la atención, and I was like, hey, ok, so, se nota que he estado revisando, because, eh, you know, eso siempre se trata de estar buscando vocabulario nuevo, de aprender todos los días, entonces me, 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 fue como una sorpresa muy grata. El saber que, que estaba buscando información extra, que estaba refrescándose. So that was very nice. Así que sí, así, you know. Si está viendo videos, un par de minutitos, siempre, you know, mantenga eso de, de ver videos, de vocabulario, que le va a ayudar bastante. So, yo siento que sí le ayuda bastante. Sí, lo que me estaba confundiendo ahorita que, eh, era lo de los in, and, y, pero cuando habla de, de meses, días y... Y el ATEC, que también creo que es para la noche, porque ahí, ahí en una mm. que, que creo que me estaba me, me, medio, me está, con, o sea, me, no es que medio, me está. Todavía. <risa> ah, vale. Si quiere, revisemos eso. Si gusta, podemos aprovechar los minutitos y, y revisar eso de in, on, in, at. All right. So, esta parte del in, on, in, at solamente es de, revis, de recordar como, ¿qué estoy diciendo? Es como en el tiempo, ¿verdad? Exacto. Pero revisamos esto. Entonces, el, el IN, por lo general, el IN es como bien específico para el momento del día. Puede ser in the morning, in the afternoon, afternoon, in the evening. Solo eso. Si es la noche, ya no entra en, en el IN, ya no se puede con IN. Um, so, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Solo los tres. All right. eh, si tengo un año, lo voy a decir con in. Okay. Si tengo un mes, también lo voy a decir con in. Por ejemplo, yo quiero decir como, ok, en la mañana yo eh, desayuno temprano. So, in the morning, I have breakfast early. In the morning, right? Si fuera en el año, por ejemplo, en, dos, en 1996 fueron los acuerdos de paz. So, como es un año, yo voy a utilizar in. Sí. In 1996, we had the peace agreement. Yeah. So, en el 96 murió Selena, and I cry. <laughs> so, <laughs> in, in 1996, Selena, Selena died. Okay. Si es un mes, por ejemplo, en diciembre es bien caliente, es bien caluroso, son lo mismo, porque digo en diciembre. So, in December, it is hot. Ok. So, cuando tenga algo de esto, vamos a utilizar in. Ahora, okay. el on es un poquito más específico. El on es para cuando uso una date. Pero date significa el año más el mes. a una fecha específica, por así decirlo. Exactamente, eso es. So, um, la diferencia con eso es que si se fija el in, lo uso para un año o lo uso para un mes. Pero si usted tiene el año y el mes, ya no sería in. 
Ahora sería bien específico porque sería una, una fecha, un date. Entonces podemos utilizar on. Ok, por ejemplo, yo le digo March. Ok, le digo solo March. ¿Qué utilizaría para March? ¿Utilizaría in o utilizaría on? Y voy a hablar de un día del mes de mayo. No, mes solo, marzo, so, solo digamos que marzo. Usted está, está, está haciendo in. referencia ahí. a March. In, ahí okay. está. Eso sería. Uh -huh. Eso sería March. Bueno, ahora digamos que habla de el marzo del 2020. ¿Qué utilizaría? In or on? Eh, on. Ay, perdón. Estoy... Acá le escribe year. Perdón, no, es, no era year. Era el day. Sorry. <risa> era el day y el month. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Y, y eso es como March 2020. So sería Siempre in como March. con in. Mm. In March 2020. Exacto. Siempre sería in March 2020. Porque siempre hacemos referencia al, a esta verdad. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si es el día específico? So, what happened si yo hablo del 2 de marzo? El año no me importa, pero yo quiero decir que el 2 de marzo pasó algo. O, oh, por ejemplo, ahora que estamos en el Día de la Mujer. So, imagínense que vengo y digo, ok, el 8 de marzo. Tengo el día, tengo el mes. ¿Qué utilizaría? Y estaría con on porque ya tengo el día específico. Exacto. Entonces, como yo ya tengo el día, ya tengo el mes, ahora yo hago un pequeño cambio, porque eso se le considera como fecha. Entonces, ya no uso in, ahora voy a usar on. O March 8. Lo mismo pasa con todas las fechas. Fe fechas importantes, cumpleaños, cualquier fecha. Usted va a utilizar on, porque habla del momento específico. Por ejemplo, eh, si mi cumpleaños, digamos que es en abril, el, no sé, el 20 de abril. So, I got April, April 20th, all right? So, pero es mi fecha, ok? Es un momento importante, es una fecha. Entonces, no se puede utilizar in, ya? Yeah? So, no puedo decir in April 20 porque yo tengo el day plus el month. Plus, entonces, hago el cambio a on, on April the 20. Pero si yo solo hago referencia al mes, si solo digo April, tengo que usarlo con in. Exactamente. Entonces uh, hago el cambio para in, in April. Ajá, so esa es la diferencia. Ahora, el at, eh, el at es como bien específico para dos cosas. Fíjese, la verdad es que no, no, no es mucho el cambio. Utilizo el at para the time. Cuando digo a las 7, a las 8, a las 9, me voy a, me voy a dormir a las 11 de la noche. I go to bed at 11. I wake up at 6. Eso lo uso para esta, para the time. Y lo uso para esta otra, at night. So le comentaba que in solo es in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero el de la noche es at night. Okay. Ya cambia. Exacto. Entonces cuando usted quiere decir como yo voy a ir a, a jugar fútbol en la noche, como lo diría. Yo voy a ir. Vaya, yo voy, yo voy, para no confundirnos más. Yo voy, o yo juego fútbol en la noche. I play soccer at night. Exacto, exactamente. So that is the one. So, oh, solamente es de recordarse un poquito, cabal. El, el, dije el mes, in. Voy a mencionar el año, in. Ah, pero es la fecha específica, on. So, el on, eso es el, el uso más grande que tiene. So, para la date, para las fechas específicas. Uh -huh. Ay, estoy mute. <ríe> Solo lo voy a moverse, pero I don't get it. Uh -huh. Sí, eso, es que eso me estaba confundiendo. Porque hay veces, o sea, buscaba la, busco la forma por hacer una frase, uh -huh. pero se me va el, 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 el eso de los ¿Cuál de los on, tres? Ajá. ¿Cuál de los tres tengo que utilizar? Gotcha, uh -huh. I gotcha. Pero un poco mejor ahora, a little bit better. Sí, un, un poco ya, sí, ya lo, ya lo, ya lo, ya lo entendí mejorcito. 
cool. Si quiere, le voy a mandar por, por la cuestión de tiempo, ¿verdad? Nos piden 10 minutitos. Eh, si quiere, le escribo ahorita, le voy a mandar un par de ejercicios para que usted los complete cuando tenga tiempo. Y así ve, sí. vemos si podemos clarificar un poco mejor este tema. Uh -huh. Bye, está bien, si me hace el favor. Cool, no problem. Ok, René, gracias por su tiempo. Thank bueno, you so much. Igual. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.